Hello lovely people, it's your girl here, Dubs is the life. Thank you so much for returning. And if you're new here, I give you a warm welcome. Today we are making our own homemade smoked mackerel. Well, though this was grilled in the oven, I added a secret touch which gives you the smoked mackerel taste. Stay tuned and I'll show you what I did. <laughs> So, as you can see, I'll begin by cleaning the fish. First, I'll cut off the tail, the fins, the gill area, and also take out all the unwanted parts in the stomach of the fish. One of the benefits of smoking your own mackerel or even your own catfish at home is that you are able to clean it the way you want. Whenever you buy it from a vendor or someone you don't know, you don't know how thoroughly they've cleaned the fish, whether they cleaned it or not. And this is one of the benefits for you to be able to do it at home, knowing that you cleaned it thoroughly yourself and it's hygienic and safe to eat. As you all know, I'm a clean freak <laughs> and I love to clean everything thoroughly. It's not just food, even maintaining my home and everything else. I love to clean so I'll go ahead and clean the fish thoroughly. All you need to do to get all the things out of the stomach is to make an insertion into the stomach and take out all the unwanted parts just as demonstrated on your screen. I know <laughs> that you may be wondering why I haven't listed the ingredients yet but don't worry I'll list them as we go on okay. Once I've taken out all the unwanted parts, the next thing for me to do is to wash the fish with some cold water. I always use cold water because I feel like when I use hot or warm water, it pre-cooks the fish. <laughs> I stand to differ. Let me know what you do or the best thing to do, but this is just personal preference. So once the first wash is done, I'll come in and wash it with lemon. Yes, guys, I told you all <laughs> that I love to wash all my ingredients thoroughly. <laughs> But hey, washing it with lemon will help avoid the fishy smell when you are grilling or cooking it. It's not just grilling, but when you're using fish in general, okay? I'll then wash it again with some cold water and get the fish ready for seasoning. And look at those beauties! <laughs> I'll then tap the fish dry with some kitchen towels to allow the fish retain all the seasoning. I know we already have a similar recipe on the channel, but this one has a little more details and a little more touch, which makes the fish versatile to use. You could even have it on its own. So moving on to our list of ingredients now. <laughs> so in goes half a teaspoon of ginger powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. I love onion powder, guys one teaspoon of my vegetable seasoning some salt i'm using himalayan salt as it's an healthier option and now moving on to the secret ingredient to give you that smoky feel yes my liquid smoke <laughs> this will give it that smokiness that smoky sensation or taste you need in the fish just like how you remember it from the market woman okay i'll also add a little bit of olive oil mix it all together to combine making sure that all the parts gets a fair share of the seasoning <laughs> anyway the olive oil mix or helps the fish to absorb all the seasonings beautifully i'll cover it with some cling film and allow it to marinate for about two hours if you do have time allow it to marinate overnight okay after two hours I'll smear some oil on my rack to prevent the fish from sticking onto the rack when it goes into the oven. I'll then pop it into my preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius and after 20 minutes, I'll take it out, turn it and transfer it back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes and it will be ready. Please hazard alert. Make sure to dip your hands into some cold water when turning it. Don't be like me because it's really hot and you can hurt yourself. So after another 10 to 15 minutes, 
just see how our fish looks it looks simply amazing and trust me my lovely family it tastes that even better please do try it and you will definitely love it thank you so much for watching until the end if you haven't subscribed this is Debsy's delight please do well to subscribe join the family grow as well as share comment and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will be instantly notified remember that i love you all but god loves you most keep staying safe and beautiful my lovelies see you in my next one bye for now